William Robert Lickhox was born into a musical family of mainly drummers, Willie's uncle fathering three cousins, as well as his brother Ogua playing drums, his mother and sister playing various instruments, and his brother teaches music. The big band era of the 40s and 50s included groups that Willie's uncle and father played in, all providing essential genesis for young Will's first professional exposure. From the time young Willie could walk, he was drumming up a storm under the watchful eye of his musical family. Throughout grade school and high school, he played in many bands. One of the grade school bands was named The Echoes, and it was in this band that an entry into a television talent show in Omaha, Nebraska followed. Anchored by Willie's superb drum performance, The Echoes were invited back for guest appearances on the show. Participation in a number of bands followed in high school as well as professional training at the Stan Canton Summer Jazz Camp, which included instruction from the staff of the Berkeley School of Music. The stage was now set for a career as well as a professional musician. But not before obtaining a bachelor's degree in music in 1970 from Washburn University in Kansas, where Willie majored in piano and drummed in various college assembles. This broad based formal training would later serve Willie well and was in fact probably a factor in landing the America job as we later find. At college, while Willie continued playing in bands as a means to earn extra money, it was during this period that Willie learned about life on the road, which once again be would become something that would serve him well as a member of America. One of the bands he was in was called the Jones, and their claim to fame was single that reached 98 on the top charts in 1968. In addition, many of Willie's bands opened for various big name acts. The best was yet to come for the, for the highly ambitious and energetic young man. In 1971, after graduating from college, Willie elected to move to Southern California where his chances are working in the music industry would be greatly enhanced. For the first few years, Willie was quite busy doing secession work and working with local musicians, doing lots of freelance work. Along the way, Willie met David Joloff, the actor, musician, who played Bunny in the top-rated show, Room 2022. It was David Joloff who suggested that Willie try out the f American drama job. Joloff had an apartment near Gary Bentley, Dwight Bano and Dan Peak of America. He had heard that they would be holding a public audition in a building on Santa Monica to find a permanent drummer. Willie, armed with a very deep musical background, both professionally and academically, bored by the huge success of this band called America, who had won a Grammy as Best New Artist of 1972, prepared to show his best. He went out and bought all the valuable America LPs, numbering two at that time. Willie transcribed all the drum parts from the LPs and rehearsed them to profession. His experience and deep musical roots would now come to bear a distinct advantage. At the audition, Willie Ledoff and America and their management was completely blown away. They stopped the night audition, sent the other drummers home, who never had a chance to play and immediately hired Willie. The rest is history. The private America jet was waiting with a seat reserved for Willie. Can you imagine? The first LP that Willie worked on 
was the smash hit holiday willie has great memories of working on this project and the collaboration with former beatles producer sir george martin willie played drums on all the martin produced material that included about five lps including a live lp done at the greek theater in los angeles with a full orchestra america group does over 100 and 50 shows per year throughout the US and he has played in over 50 overseas countries. Willie is on was almost getting to four centuries with the band. His family believes that stamina and pacing oneself is very important to handling the rigors of the road. His professionalism and well-disciplined approach to his work was a lot key to his longevity. He usually enjoyed life on the road and was a real flexible, adaptable type of guy, unlike other musicians. Rest in parking.